Man, just when you thought you had enough from Ubisoft, they just keep finding ways of putting themselves in the news. First, um, I, I don't even have time to upload these things fast enough with, with, with the amount of news that they're coming out with. First, uh, first Assassin's Creed uh, Shadows got delayed, and then we went into the reason why they got delayed. And now, uh, and, and then there was, there was something else. Uh, their stock is plummeting as well like there's just so much going on with the ubisoft news and you know I, i'm trying to put you know try to spread these out as much as possible because it's just it's just so much now but now the latest from ubisoft coming over uh you, by the time you see this would be the weekend will be over but this was on october 4th so if you if you had an early weekend like the early start to your weekend you may have missed this so this is a uh, good this is the reason why i'm putting this on uh, on monday so um ubisoft is considering buyout with 10 cent to take company private um for those who didn't know uh 10 cent has a portion or they have uh they, they have uh, uh they, they own part of ubisoft or they they helped up ubisoft a while ago um let's just get into this into this article right here in major change could uh could be coming at ubisoft sooner rather than later according to a new report from bloomberg um by the way this is from insider gaming as well this article right here i don't have a subscription to bloomboard i uh bloomberg sorry i can't even speak bloomberg i am not paying for that sorry bloomberg but huge thanks to insider gaming for uh to, for reporting this as well um the founder of ubisoft the Germont family are considering a bio from tencent the decision uh, comes after what, what's what been the most of a tremendous year in the company's history. Ubisoft has seen its shares fall to 11-year low. Games like Star Wars Outlaws has struggled to sell. I believe like Star Wars, like it was only just a little bit over a million, close to a million that we're hearing that it's Star Wars Outlaws has sold. Now, I know a million sounds like a lot, but this game was expected to do no, wonders, absolutely wonders, like maybe 5 million, 10 million, uh, but definitely a million is not cutting it. Like they, that is a big loss there. And it's the, and not only that, it's biggest franchise, Assassin's Creed has been, uh, uh, has, has seen its next its next game delay into 2025. Now I mentioned before in previous videos as well. Make sure to go check it out. And if you are liking these videos, let me know if you're liking these gaming news. I am still doing my game walkthroughs and tech tech videos as well. But I figure I'll dive into more gaming news as well. Let me know if you're liking the comments below. Um, that way we can even have like a discussion as well. I do appreciate everyone who has commented on the uh, previous videos. I really really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. And also hit that like subscribe button as well and if you want to see this part live we do do these live uh come on over to twitch.tv slash md14 i figure i'll do my housekeeping now get it out of the way i do apologize but I just throw it in there let me just see if you're paying attention you know a little bit but we did uh we did mention that ubisoft uh they they did they did delay assassin's creed uh shadows and I, we also mentioned in previous videos as well that you know when when they mentioned that yeah star wars outlaws is coming out and uh, it's in development and and, the Sass and then next year they announced assassin's creed shadows um a lot of us myself my friends on the podcast as well uh we were all speculating like well when is this gonna happen like, there's there's no way they're gonna have both these games come out the same year that is two big ips you have your assassin's creed and assassin's creed has always been known for coming out for november um and then but but then you have star wars coming out this year so uh you know a lot of us thought okay well star wars would be their game and then assassin's creed will probably come out february because I, I think they've had they have had like a star wars game or at least something no, sorry they have had like an assassin's creed related coming out in in uh in february uh game or some majority of time of content as well so maybe it will be something new this time you know um but lo and behold they were like nope we're not doing that we're gonna bring out star wars on august and we're gonna bring out assassin's creed in uh, in november and exactly what we thought they should have done they didn't because now it you know star wars did not perform well not only with sales wise but when the game came out it had tons of bugs we i know many friends who um reported that they they're not really reported there was, there was reports of playstation owners um who lost their entire save file. Now imagine you paid for a game three days early. Three days early. This person, the people, the, the people that I know, they're in, they're in the, uh, they're in the industry, so they got their copies for review. 
and they were on PlayStation. And imagine that you lost your save file and because it's Ubisoft's fault. But imagine if you paid for that and you're paying like a hundred dollars for early access just to find out when the game launches the official release date. Oh, you lost your progress. All of it. Sorry. Like that's bad. Like, what are we doing here? Ubisoft? Like these are like, you have your checklist. Every company has a checklist. I even have a checklist here as, as disorganized as I am. I have a checklist of things to make sure, you know, even, even for like YouTube uploads, do I have a title? Do I have description? Do I have tags? If I'm talking about a game, am I in the gaming category? Uh, did I put down the the proper game in the category of this video? You know, do I have an outro video? Do I have, uh, you know, leading for the next video? Like, you have everyone has checklists here. This is crazy. And the fact that you have these checklists and a lot of them are blatantly not being checked, or if they are being checked, someone's lying about it and be like, oh, did we check this? Oh yeah, it's early. Let's let's just go. You know. And once again, this is no fault to the developers. This is all higher management as well disorganized whatsoever try to get their money whatsoever and like so i really feel bad for developers and you know everyone everyone who's below higher management and everything i feel bad for them because it's not their fault whatsoever and no one should be attacking them no one should be wishing for them to lose their jobs because it's not their fault they're just doing what they're being told they're putting their their heart and soul into their creation they're they're making some some amazing some amazing art and and they're being punished for it because management is terrible. Like that's not, that's not fair at all. You know, it's the same way. Like if you're working your job, you work your butt off, you're doing overtime, you're creating, you're creating whatever the, like whatever your job is, you, is, is doing, but you're excelling at it. And then, you know, your boss, your, your boss is mismanaging at his job and then you get fired for it. Like that's not right whatsoever. So anyway, with that long rant being said, um, the Chinese tech company, which is Tencent and the Guillermo, Guillermo brothers, which by the way, I had no idea they own, uh, the Guillermo family, which is like Yves, this dude right over here, this guy, um, I didn't know his family owns 30% of Ubisoft. That's wild to me. Absolutely. I had no idea. I had, <laughs> that's, this is news to, this is news to me. I had no idea. That's crazy. But a Chinese tech company and the Guillermo brothers, uh, have have been speaking with advisors to help explore ways to stabilize Ubisoft and uh, and bolster its value. The Bloomberg report states, um, it's sorry, the Bloomberg report states, uh, it said that one of the options on the table would involve taking the company private. That said, talks are at an early stage. No cert, no uh, certainty that an agreement will be reached. Tencent and Grimond family are also considering other alternatives, sources told Bloomberg. The idea of, of Ubisoft going private is a new recent. Recently, they've been major pushes from small investors to do just that. It's just it's just gotten support uh, from at least 10% of the company's shareholders. Now, I'm going to let you know right now. For everyone thinking that Tencent coming in here, saving the day to save Ubisoft is is amazing i'm gonna let you know even though with the history with ubisoft from previous games with uh you know i think even like valhalla for example assassin's creed I, I, like the last time i seen this was assassin's creed valhalla where you will pay let's just say 20 bucks just to fast track xp you know try to find ways to micro transaction everything if you think ubisoft is bad at is was terrible for doing that or is terrible I do, like just like you know like you just like oh they just want to be penny from us and everything tencent is 50 times worse you don't want you don't want tencent owning ubisoft i'm gonna send you know right now i'm even gonna look at tencent games uh like what games do they own and we're just gonna go through the lovely list right here and i want i'm gonna ask you is this a company you want owning your favorite franchise uh uh oh uh okay right here okay this is fine right here PUBG Mobile, hmm. Call of Duty Mobile, Crossfire, Delta Force, uh, System Shock 3, Happy Farm, Path of Exile, uh, QQ Pets, Arena of Valor, Metal Sog Awakening, League of Legends. Huh, that sounds interesting. Doesn't League of Legends have a $600 skin? Hmm, hmm, very interesting. Monster Hunter Online, EA Sports FIFA, 
you know they are known they are the mobile the mobile kings of grabbing a bunch of money from you especially with PUBG mobile right here um generating 112 million revenue which is oh, sorry a re sorry honor of kings is ranked the second highest earning globally uh getting 112 million sorry so uh PUBG mobile 232 yeah i don't think you want that and then what's interesting is that you're like well i didn't know tencent owned that i thought it was level infinity well that's right level infinity is under is published under level, level infinity is under tencent so your same delta force they even have an Assassin's Creed Jade game that's coming out. Um, that's supposed to be a mobile, but that's apparently apparently that's that game is done. The Assassin's Creed Jade. Apparently that one is done, but they're for some reason holding it. And I think they're holding it for a reason in case like Ubisoft is all wounded and then they're like, hey, we'll just swoop in and and uh, and you know and help you out and everything. Tower of Fantasy another that's another game i remember playing that game and that was another is a free-to-play open world game but guess what it's made to basically suck up all your money all right suck up all your money uh, and everything so uh if case you didn't know tencent currently owns 10 percent of ubisoft the company found uh founded by the garamond family in 1986 uh ceo yves garamond has been in a uh, position since 1988 goddamn uh but as a uh, as part of the a formal a formulated push for a sale by investors uh has seen requests for his removal that's fine if it's time for him to go if you're not doing your job you should be you should be uh you should be let go sadly if you're not doing your job for x amount of time properly you know it's the same thing with baseball you know if you uh if you're if if you are if you're the president and you are not your team hasn't been waiting for years you should be gone you know uh but since it since it's owned by since it's like like what this family owns part of of uh of of ubisoft or the or is founded by his family at least uh some maybe like like a brother sister uncle aunt niece nephew someone else probably be running it and then he'll probably just go underneath them or somebody like that you know so there there's that as well um uh, but with that also being said ubisoft stock prices raised near to 30 percent um amid buyout reports after reaching 11 years uh 11 year low uh, last week uh ubisoft stock prices have soared uh to uh to uh, amidst the the uh, rumors of the 10 cent buyout uh almost, almost immediately after the report of the, to of the talks broke ubisoft shares rose the ten dollars and 77 uh, cents euros to 1407 uh within an hour as as written of the shares sits at 1370 a 28.9 increase for the day uh in the in in the united states the jump was about the same percentage wise it rose to two dollars to three dollars and nine cents that is so tiny man should i get ubisoft stock <laughs> within 45 minutes as fall is since falling back to 298 a 28.8 increase of, of since uh this, this article was written uh overall overall shares are still down 11 to 14 in france uh, 11 percent 14 percent in france and the united states this month res respectively respectively uh they also remain down 42 percent year to date so while the increase is is a good it's good for show, uh, shareholders it's still a far oh my god they really said it's, it's sure far cry nice pun intended from from where it was earlier this year inside inside the company ubisoft continues to look for answers uh after a number of recent struggles star wars outlaws struggled sell 1 million copies in, a, in its first for in the first month while it's uh free to play uh free to, don't you dare bring up x defiant free to play for first person shooter x defiance having problems keeping players i'm still there okay i'm actually gonna play the game right after this you know how dare you um while a potential bio and going private is possible it's worth noting it's nothing has been finalized um what's wild by the way what is wild and I, I just saw this the other day. Oh, and this is fine. This is fine. Proceed. Is it still there? Oh, what? Hold on. Is it not there anymore? Did they actually sell out? Hold on a minute here. Uh, gaming skull. Did it break? What the? It's gone. All right. Well, I was gonna show you uh the other day, and I mean, it's not even that long ago. I think it was the on the second. Um. <laughs> 
Skull and Bones was at 90, 96 cents at the source. If you can find a location that's still that's still open. So uh that's nuts. And this was considered a quad A game. 96 cents. <laughs> that's insane. And this is this these are the sales people are waiting for. You're not gonna get your money back. There's no way you're getting your money back. There's there's no way. Um, so yeah, I don't man, boy, I don't know. I don't know what to say about uh ubisoft in the current state i don't want to see them get bought by by tencent whatsoever uh because then if you thought it was bad with with it with them being uh you know micro transactioning everything it's gonna get worse with tencent that's for sure um i guess with some other good news um i should just throw in here let's and let's end on a happy note shall we uh, assassin's creed black flag remake is closer than you think we got first foot of assassin's creed black flag remake earlier this year and information sent to insider gaming suggests that the game could be coming sooner than you might think a rumor when rumors of the assassin's creed black flag remake began uh, to circulate on the internet uh, many including ourselves assumed the game will be will still uh still be some years away from releasing however the new details documentation on the game sent to insider gaming uh under the condition that it does not go public suggests that the game is well into development and could uh could be released much sooner than we all thought um in fact prior to recent uh recent assassin's creed shadows delay uh which is still which is understood to have affected assassin's creed pipeline of content re uh, releases the assassin's creed black flag remake Old name obsidian was was to be released around november 2025 which will be around the same time that that the series multiplayer offering code name invictus is to be released insider gaming uh understands that this is part of uh, ubisoft's uh, ramp, ramp up strategy for the assassin's creed series which will uh which is which will see an assassin's creed series title various lengths and experience uh experiences released in the next five years years that is a lot and then don't forget codename jade that's supposed to come out as well uh that's a lot of assassin's creed game i know a lot of people will be excited for uh assassin's creed black flag um i know that's a lot of people's favorites and for that to get like a remake hopefully a decent remake because even with remakes assassin's, uh, assassin's creed but ubisoft doesn't even do a good job of that either look at prince of persia remake and this is prince of persia 30 35th year yes we had prince of persia lost crown and yes we had the roguelike prince of persia game but i'm pretty sure uh the remake prince of persia game was supposed to come out this year as well um but we all know what happened with that one anyway let me know what y'all think about this this is nuts i like i said once again as bad as ubisoft is i rather <laughs> um i rather them not go to 10 cent i don't even like i don't even think anyone else will even buy them to be honest like sony has bungie debt to pay off uh microsoft i don't think they will even consider getting them right now um i just i'd rather them not go to 10 cent to be honest because it will, it will be a travesty and i feel like that is heading towards the dark timeline of microtransactions and just ruining just ruining the gaming industry you know um which is kind of ironic because they have marvel rivals coming out i love marvel rivals well we'll see how that one goes for me anyway let me know your thoughts in the comments below thank you so much for watching all these videos i really appreciate it um and uh if you are liking this, once again, let me know in the comment below if you'd like to see more, any feedback. I'm open to listening to it all. As always, everyone, have yourself a damn good one.